morning everybody welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67 today I'm going to share with you how to make these postcard fabric postcard journaling cards I've done this technique in the past but it was all fabric um, and then I tweaked it with a pocket and then I also tweaked it again with um, adding some lavender to it but today uh, for those of you who maybe have not seen that I've tweaked it again and created this writing space on the back so let's just jump in and get started and I'll try let me just list the things you're going to need you're going to have to have a permanent um, ink that will work on fabric you're going to need a small piece of muslin you're going to need a little bit of uh, batting a postage stamp and then you would want to have button and little trims um, and bits of fabric which most of us have got that in our stash so those are the items I think that's everything that you're going to need and then of course a <coughs> coffee or tea dyed um, piece of paper or I've chosen to use these index cards because they're sturdier than just regular paper and the way I've done this the only bit of bulk you've got is the button there so it's really nice you can write on this and um, so it's very functional for our journals so let's just get started guys first thing we're going to do is stamp our postage image onto the muslin like I said, I've done this in the past. Um, it's just, I don't know, this week I was playing around. I was like, oh, wow, you know what? That just needs to be updated again. And that's how these things come about, I think. So based on the size of your stamp, you're going to want to allow, I would say, at least a quarter of an inch on each side, and then you can cut that down. But I, I always choose to have a bit extra. That's going to allow for me to take that to the machine and sew it, um, and then you can unravel it a bit so it, it gives it a nice aged look. So I hope everybody is uh, okay and uh, staying busy, you know, hopefully you're having some time to do, catch up on some things around the house or crafting time. Okay, so the next thing I've, I've done is um, I've cut the batting, and there again you're going to have to measure this according to your stamp, but I've cut that just... Uh, probably an eighth of an inch smaller than because I do not want this to show I want to make sure that um, the batting is not going to show when I get that stitch down and at this point I am going to take this to the machine because I want to tack these two together before I start working with the paper so I'm going to take it over and just do a straight stitch on the perimeter here, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so you can see I've just did a simple straight stitch around that. And now this is where I will come back and trim that down a little bit, because you can see there's quite a bit hanging over. So I'm just going to trim that down. So before I attach this to the index card, this is when you will want to go ahead and do all your decorative um, stitching here. Um, like this one, for example, I just clustered everything and then I did a, a little stitch around there and just tacked this so that it would not be flopping around. And you want to do all of that prior to... 
um, attaching it to the paper on the back. So here we go. Just um, any bits of scrap that you've got in your stash. It just works beautifully for this. And then I've got these um, Tim Holtz photo cards. They're fabric photo cards and I'm just going to take a little bit of that because I loved how that came out with the color. It, this is I think this is just going to be beautiful for an autumn journal which again I don't know if I'm going to get around to this year or not. Um, I was working so hard on the Christmas journals, December dailies, that I just didn't have time for um, autumn journals, which is a shame, and I won't be doing that again next year. That's two years now that... Um, I've just uh, I've devoted so much time to the December dailies that I've just lost autumn, really. Um, so I'm not going to do that next year. I've decided that already. That's a little bit too big still. Because I don't want to cover up too much of the writing. It's just finding what works for you. And you don't have to do this. I've done it in the past where I've added um, little bits of <coughs> digital printouts. I've done that before. I've done, uh, well let me see if I've got a couple here I can share with you. Yep, here's two. This is a variation on it. Now again, these were, um, these are completely fabric, but you can see how you can do that with the vintage, and I love it with the black. I think that's really pretty. Now, I have gifted all of the ones that I created. You can put a little pocket back here and tuck a uh, tag in it. And, of course, you could do the same thing with this. How sweet would that be? You wouldn't want the lined paper, but you could also have a writing space, a tag, and a pocket. Um, but I'm going to keep them all just journal cards because... I'm working on a massive stash of journals, um, but that one you can see I've run some lace and then this, and these have, I've done these years and years ago, so you can um, look back. But it's the same technique. Um, but I know I've had so many new subscribers uh, that probably have not seen those videos. I wanted to come back and share this, uh, revisit it again. Alrighty, so... Um, I've done Christmas versions of this, which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so it's just, you know, only limited by your imagination. Okay, so I've got that placed, I think, where I want it. So I'm just going to take it to the machine. I'm going to just kind of run a stitch around and tack that. And then, of course, I'll, I'll frame this out a bit and then add the little button to that. And I think that's, that's going to be a really, really sweet little journal card so I will be back. Okay guys I changed it again. I found a bit of this green and I think with the this is kind of like an aubergine or eggplant color. <laughs> um, I just think that really looked pretty with that because as I said these I don't know in my mind I'm thinking for an autumn journal both of these would just be beautiful. So, now I'm going to just sew this on by hand, and then the next thing we will do is just um, stitch that to the index card, and that will be ready to go. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to be working on today, because I had already um, pre-stamped these when I was making the fabric postcards. Um, I had those in my shop for sale for quite a while, so um, they were very popular. And so I just had stamped a lot of these ahead of time, but, um, you know, times changed, and I've moved on to other projects, and I just found them the other day when I was clearing. 
and I thought that you know that's what made me think oh my gosh yeah I'm going to tweak that again and share with with my new subscribers so this is a great project for craft fairs and markets if you're a person who sells at those these are really uh, great sellers for that and I've personally not managed to do a market, but I've had several people come back from my previous tutorials and say, um, you know, thank me for it because they've, um, they've been really popular for the Christmas and uh, fall markets. So that's always nice. It's nice to feel like, you know, you were able to put something out that inspired somebody else. I still keep hoping that I'm going to be able to do a market in the future because I love the idea of um, being out there with people. I just I, I enjoy that atmosphere a lot. Okay, so at this point, this is how I do it. You might want to pre-cut it. I never do, never, never do I. I always take it and sew it directly to the paper. If it's a big sheet of paper, I'll cut it down to where it's more manageable in the sewing machine. But the reason I do that is because I've found in the past, if I don't, sometimes the machine, it will slip because I don't want to glue this. Um, you may want to. You may want to do it, but because of the... Um, well, I didn't glue this one, and I'm because I'm doing the tutorial, I'd have to wait for that glue to dry. And so, you guys know by now, I'm not that patient of a person. <laughs> so that's how I do it. I just take it to the machine and stitch it around, and then I'll trim it off. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, that's how it's looking. I love it, love it, love it. I love this, the deep purple with the green. I, you, you know I love that combination anyway. So now I'm just going to trim this down. And so there you have it guys. Just unravel that a little bit. Oh, I do love these so much. And so, there you have it. You could, um, as I said, you could add a little pocket back here. You could stamp on this as well. Um, you could add a tab. Let me see if I've got any pre-cut tabs. You could add a tab to that if you wanted and stitch that. That would be really pretty. In fact, you know what? Let me just do it. <laughs> Grab my ink here. Oh, I do like that one. Okay, let me just pop over to the machine, guys. That's really sweet. I love that addition to it. So now, 
I'll have that in a pocket, I think, and that'll pull out. Love that, but I really love this one as well. I like the oranges in that. Oh, I love those. Okay, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed that. I think it's pretty, pretty quick and easy project. You know I love those kinds of projects. But if you do have any questions, be sure and uh, ask. Leave your question in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quick as I possible. I've um, been <clears throat> kind of tied up lately, so if I if I have missed anybody's comments, I am so sorry. It's just been so hectic here with um, the house clear out, and then um, we've had some health issues with Daisy. Um, she's okay, but, uh, you know, we still just don't know where that's going. So I do apologize if I haven't um, been as active socially. I had taken a break from uh, social media for a while. I just needed it. Um, but then we had multiple things happen at one time, so you understand. I mean, life just happens. It happens for all of us, but that's why I've been away, and uh, I do apologize if you've left a comment or a question and I haven't seen it, because I do try to make a point of responding to those, but I just couldn't this last month. There's just been so much happening, as, as it has been for everybody else. So I do hope that you guys are all... <clears throat> staying safe out there and hopefully you're starting to get excited about the holidays we had it was so sad on Saturday night I was not expecting trick-or-treaters at all because of the lockdown uh, but sure enough we had uh, a couple of kids come around and we felt terrible because we hadn't prepared for it so we told them to come back yesterday, and of course yesterday it was pouring down rain, and they didn't come back, but we'd went back yesterday morning and bought candy. So, so I feel so bad for them because the kids have been impacted so much this year, but um, yeah, these things happen. So anyways, I hope that you guys are all getting excited about it. I certainly am. I'm actually, I am actually thinking, to heck with it, um, I might be putting my Christmas tree up this week just because I think I need that bit of you know anticipation and hope that um, things are going to start improving so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get the tree down this week and get it up get the house decorated it always feels so much nicer when you walk into the house and it's decorated so <laughs> I don't know that's probably going to be my plans for the week you guys let me know what you're up to how are you finding that you're um, passing the days. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are still working. I am. Um, and then, of course, on top of that, you know, you're trying to do other things around the house. But let me know what, what you guys are doing to stay positive and how you're passing the hours. I'd just love to hear about it. So take care, everybody. I'll be back soon. Bye.